Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Brie, also known as Honey Brie, if you follow me over on Instagram. And today I will be preparing five different freezer meals that I want to try out before I have my next baby. I am 34 and a half weeks pregnant. Look at this belly. Oh my goodness. This is something that I did not take advantage of with my firstborn and I don't honestly remember it being such a struggle to eat and to find food to eat and stuff like that because we lived in Tampa and takeout was very easily accessible and stuff like that but it is not so here so I wanted to make sure that we had meals here ready to go that were more hearty and nutritious and also things that we are more apt to eat so with these recipes they are mostly dinner ideas but I did find one breakfast pre-made freezer meal that sounded really good and I happen to have the ingredients for mostly so I wanted to try it out my plan is to make them get an idea of like how this goes because I've actually never made a meal to freeze. We'll probably eat them before baby actually arrives. I'll probably honestly save one of these for dinner tonight because I am starving already, but I do want to have some recipes in the arsenal and figure out if I did like the recipes that I did find and if there's anything that I want to tweak about them. All the recipes that I am including in this video I found on Pinterest, which is where I find most of my meal ideas anyway, and to anyone who is interested in those recipes, I will link all of them down below so that way you can access them as well. If you guys have any make ahead freezer recipe ideas please leave them down below in the comments I would love to try them but yeah I'm excited to get started and I'm excited to see how these turn out to start off I'm going to start prepping the meat I need chicken for two recipes and then we need sausage for two recipes and beef for one recipe I need to make shredded chicken and I bought some frozen chicken yesterday and I need to get that in the instapot I feel like that is just going to be the easiest way to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that prepped and ready to go. I, of course, forgot to pull out the beef last night. It's looking like it's gonna be a while before these thaw out. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in the sink under some warm water to go ahead and get the thawing process started. And while I have those thawing, I'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken cooking in the Instapot. Like I said, I bought frozen chicken and it's chicken thighs, not chicken breasts, but I prefer chicken thighs just because it's a better flavor of chicken to me. I've never actually tried frozen chicken like this, so this is gonna be totally new and I hope it turns out really well. Probably just going to basically season this with like salt and pepper, because I think the recipes themselves have their own seasoning. Also add some chicken broth to keep it moist and make sure it doesn't burn inside of the Instant Pot. Basically just added my frozen chicken thighs to the Instant Pot and I covered it with a little bit of leftover chicken broth that I had in the fridge as well as some water and I wanted to make enough just to have extra shredded chicken because it's so easy to throw on all kinds of stuff. I'm going to pressure cook this for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna let it naturally vent for five more minutes after that and then I would let it vent whatever pressure is left over until I am ready to use it. I do have my breakfast sausage already thawed out so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cooking in a skillet for the breakfast recipe. So I totally forgot that I was going to be cooking bacon to add to this just because I have it and also who wouldn't want bacon in their grits, sausage, and cheese casserole, you know? just heard this thing go off and it has been on warm for five minutes so I'm going to now release it myself which is the worst part about an instapot in my opinion <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, the chicken looks and smells so good. I'm excited that that worked out. And now I'm gonna go back to the grits. I have to add the cheeses to the grit pot before we transfer it to the pans that I will be storing it in. I did pick up some of these tin pans because I don't have a lot of casserole dishes to just throw in the freezer. So this is what we're rolling with. quick little intermission to clean up after the last dish just because that makes me feel better and I have like a clean slate to continue and also baby boy needed me so I had to go mom for a second now I'm going to shred up this chicken which I plan on putting into this pot and using my hand mixer because the whole fork thing is just like so overrated so I quickly realized that that was not a good idea so I just drained some of the juice in here and I'm just gonna do it in the instant pot <laughs> Now that I have my chicken all shredded up, which was like the easiest thing in the world, by the way, highly recommend this method in terms of using the hand mixer to shred chicken, not forks. While I wait on my water to boil so I can make my pasta, I'm gonna go ahead and brown my ground beef and chopped onions, which I have to chop. Another quick break because baby boy needed to eat dinner and he was getting hangry and I get it. it smells really good in here. Now I'm going to cut up my onion for the next recipe which is going to be the chicken alfredo pasta casserole. My pasta is done, ready to go. Cut up this onion and then I'm supposed to add the chicken and the pasta together, mix that up and then I'm going to add the diced onion, the garlic and the sauce.
Okay, y'all, so it is almost 7 p.m. here, and baby boy is passed out on the couch, not feeling too well. So I'm gonna go spend the rest of the night with him. I was able to knock out three of the recipes tonight, one being the sausage and cream cheese grits casserole, which I added bacon to, the other being the Mexican lasagna casserole, which honestly, I think that is the one I'm most excited for. And then lastly, I did the chicken Alfredo pasta casserole, which I actually ended up splitting into two. The recipe didn't say that that was the thing, but I just felt like that was gonna be a lot of food in one dish. And my original plan was actually to make one of those for dinner tonight because I was already gonna be cooking and I figured that that would be the easiest thing to do. So I have one in the oven right now and I'm super excited to try it out. I'm probably gonna steam some broccoli or green beans to go on the side. I completely forgot that one of the recipes that I wanted to make needed egg noodles, which was something our store did not have yesterday. And I did not have the energy to go shopping anywhere else. So I wasn't able to make the chicken and croissant roll casserole that I intended to make and also I did not get around to making the pepperoni and sausage pizza casserole which sounds so yummy. So I'll probably be making that at a later date but I will go ahead and include the recipes that I did not make today because they just sound really good. Overall I would say it was not a bad process. Like I said in the beginning this is something I want to get into the habit of doing more often. We will be having a baby very very soon so having meals that are just easy enough to pop into the oven and cook up for us I just think that is going to be such a lifesaver especially now that we have a toddler on our hands as well who also needs to eat. If you guys try out any of these recipes, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear how it turned out for you. If you guys like this type of video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Give it a like because it really supports my channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!